How to Change the Jenkins Port. By default, Jenkins listens on port 8080. However, in your environment, port 8080 is meant to be used for another application, so you need to change the listening port for Jenkins to a different port. How do you do that? That's what we're going to do in this video. So here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.375.2, and you can tell by the browser that we're listening on port 8080. We can see that here, Jenkins colon 8080. So let's assume for a moment, I want to change the 8080 to 8081, because in my organization, 8081 has been determined to be the port that we use for all Jenkins controllers. So let's go into our console and let's take a look at how we currently have our controller configured. Now, the first thing we'll take a look at is we'll look at our process, PS aux WW, and we can see here that our Jenkins process already has a few attributes set. So let's go and take a look at system CTL edit Jenkins. And we can see here we've already set Java ops with a few parameters. We've set Jenkins ops with a single parameter, but this is also where we're going to set the listening port for our Jenkins controller. But how do I know what the key is that I would need to replace, such as Jenkins ops? Well, what we can do, we'll exit out of this and we'll say system CTL edit Jenkins, and then we'll say dash dash full. And what this will show us is all of the values that have already been set either by default or by us. So let's go down and look in the service section and start looking for 8080. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and just search for 8080. And we can see that the default is 8080 here. Well, let's go ahead and copy this. I'm going to exit out and then let's do the edit Jenkins again without the dash dash full. So I'll go down here below Jenkins Ops. I'll paste in that value and change the 8080 to 8081. Now what we need to do is go ahead and save this and let's restart our process. So let's go back over to our browser. We can already see that Jenkins 8080 is no longer listening. Let's change this to Jenkins 8081. We'll get our login screen. We'll go ahead and log in, but we're still not done yet. Because we've changed the URL for our controller, we need to make one more change because if we go to Manage Jenkins, you'll see an error message that says, it appears that your reverse proxy setup is broken. So let's go to Configure System and let's scroll down to Jenkins URL and let's change the value of 8080 to 8081 and click on Save. Now that takes us back to the top of our dashboard. Let's go back into Manage Jenkins and we can see now that the reverse proxy error has been removed. And now we've changed our port from 8080 to 8081. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.